Not sure if you can hear me or not because of this wind, it's uh, as you can see it's making it a bit rough for the lads fishing. Uh, that was Rob, but Rob Perkins just had his 11th fish, uh, admittedly one or two of them are skimmers but he's chasing a lad down here who was on permanent peg 5 I think it is, um, he's got 16 fish going into the last hour, this is a lad here on permanent peg 6, I've heard he's only got a couple of fish, um, but yeah there's exactly an hour to go, as you can see that's the famous boom, they're all fishing for bream now as you can expect, most of them have got worms on, on the hose hook bait. This is the lad here, he's got, I've just been told he's got 16, like I said, with an hour to go. Rob's catching now though, so we might catch him. I'm not sure if you can hear me again, just being out bottom end and they're struggling down the other side of this uh, of this boom. I'm just walking back up and as you can see Rob's got another one. Don't know how many more he's had while I've been gone. By my rate this, this makes him on 12. I think him on him on 16 on permanent peg 5. Looks like he's slowed down. I've not seen anyone catch down there. The other side of the boom, there's one or two of them even fishing with whips now. Uh, and bait dropping, chop worm and stuff in really short, three, four, five meters just just after a fish, you know, a few small fish for team points. Just stay and watch Rob land this one and I'm gonna have a walk up to the other end of the section up to the left and uh, I think it's very quiet up there. As you can see Rob's tussling a bit with this weed down the margin. Right, there's only five minutes left. Looks like it's going to be close actually between Rob Perkins, who's on permanent peg eight. Um, peg seven's not in. Peg six, he's just had a late run of fish, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Um, so then it just leaves peg five then, who had 16 fish going into the last hour. Um, yeah, the lad's got one on here. I'm not sure if this is a lad who had a barbell early on that I heard about, but some of these lads down down here, especially they've been fishing with whips and that just for just for points for the team. In fact, this one's running here, it could be another barbell, this by the looks of it, judging by the bend in his rod. Five minutes left, like I say. Obviously, if he's still playing this at the whistle, he gets uh, angling truss rules. Just like the old NFA rules, he's entitled to 15 minutes to land a fish. So, yeah, it's, um, it's looking like it's putting up a bit of a fight if it is a bream. It could be another barbell, this maybe. We'll just keep filming for a while, it looks like he's a, quite a bit downstream to be fair that fish but let's just see if uh, I'll stick with this lad till uh, 
let's just see if he can he, he lands it. Unfortunately, unfortunately that lad, uh, he's lost that fish right on the death, but I've just found out he's actually got four other barbel in his net already. He's admitting to £30, no bream, and one of the uh, barbel he's had, he reckons, is about £9. He's had that on the pole, close in, about four metres, so um, I'm not sure which end they're weighing from, but it's all down to the weighing now. Let's go and see what the lads have got. That'd be a mega weight on Brigel, certainly. <laughs> Kilo 200 whip fish. Kilos, 800. 800. 900, sorry. 900. Kilos, 900. Kilos, 900. Kilos, 900. Major five for one or two of them, didn't they? Yeah. That weed's a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah. I'll be behind watching. Yeah. It's down, there. down to your right, yeah. Oh, right, it looks like Rob's won this section. He's had 40 kilos. Just talk us through it quickly, Rob, if you can. Uh, just fish ground bait feeder all day. Uh, 60 gram large matrix uh, cage feeder. I've packed it with chopworm and caster. Right. Um, very little ground bait, just enough to bind it in. I've gone 55 turns, um, which I'd like to have gone a bit further, but obviously with this wind today, it's, it's been a yeah. sort of um, I just plugged away at it all day. It took an hour to get my first fish, I had a skimmer, about a pound and a half, so. and then 20 minutes later, about one, five or six pound, another one next chuck, and it's just been odd fish. Brilliant. Last half an hour, then the fish are chill. Key question, as somebody who's never fished this peg, all these pegs, where do you cast on this peg? <laughs> well, I've sat on eight, and the boys sort of fan out now, yeah. down past seven. So you chuck it, I've chucked, to the right hand side of the White House. On the to the right side. of the White House, yeah, right, so got you. Chucking down to the boys. Got you. Yeah. Brilliant, so, 55 turns. Yeah, I'd like to have gone a bit closer, but... Every once in a while, a gust of wind was just dragging it down. Take it in. So, All right. Brilliant, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks for giving me something to watch. I've enjoyed that last hour. Yeah. All right, mate. Well done, pal. Thanks.